Hello, my name is Sarah Ann Dukes and I am the author of The Hunt for the Nightingale, which is a contemporary adventure following nine-year-old Jasper as he goes across the countryside looking for his missing bird and his sister. The book is beautifully illustrated throughout by Sharon King Chai and I'll just give you a little hint there of an uh, insight into what the book is. It's filled with beautiful bird illustrations and bird facts. And now I am going to uh, read you a chapter from inside this book, so I hope you enjoy. Bird fact number three. Nightingale songs are made up of around 200 different phrases. I don't like losing things. It makes my stomach hurt and I feel dizzy and sick. I seem to feel anxious like that more than anyone else in my school. Dad always tells me that I'm worrying over nothing. He always says things like, the other children in your class aren't really laughing at you, Jasper. Or that losing your homework isn't the end of the world, you know. I'm not sure about that because Rosie not being here feels like the end of everything, which is probably why I felt so panicky all this week. But mum's right. Usually I can make the panic go away by thinking about good, true things instead, like everything in our book of birds. The book of birds is a book that Rosie and I have been writing for ages and forever, and it has everything we know about birds in it. It's a map of my brain, and it's filled with feathers and facts about how to find different types of birds. And when I read it, thoughts about birds take over the worry, and I don't feel so bad anymore. There are pages and pages about the nightingale. They say that it's a migratory bird, which means it flies away in the summer and comes back to the field behind our house every April. And even though Rosie has flown off to university now because she's nine years older than me, she still promised to drive home every other weekend in April and May so we could sit in our tree together and listen to the nightingale sing, because it's important. Two weeks ago, when the nightingale hadn't arrived like it usually does, Rosie sat with me in the dark and the silence. I don't like it, I said. The nightingale is usually here by now, isn't it? And now it's May and we've still not heard it once. She held my hand in the black. You know, I heard there was a nightingale at the M23 motorway services. I bet that's our bird, Jasper. I bet it just got lost on its way home. A bird is only missing until you find it, and I'll find it, I promise. I couldn't really see her face, but Rosie always tells the truth, so I believed her. I'll help you, I said, and she squeezed my hand tight. We'll do it together, me and you. I'll come back again next weekend. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, that's been The Hunt for the Nightingale, and I've been Sarah Andukes. Thank you. Goodbye.